you're newly engaged, congratulations. This is an exciting time and you'll probably want to get started right away with planning your wedding. Well, one of the best places to do that is at a wedding show. And the biggest one in Raleigh is happening this weekend, January 7th and 8th at the North Carolina State Fairgrounds. It's called the Forever Bridal Wedding Show and it's huge. I went for the first time in 2006 as a vendor with my husband. We own a DJ company. I was overwhelmed. So I know that if I was overwhelmed as a vendor, you might be overwhelmed as an engaged couple. So here are some of my best tips for attending a wedding show. Mm. Tip number one, wear comfortable shoes. Yes, fashion is important to a lot of us, but this is not the time to break out the highest stiletto in your closet. Leave those at home. You're going to be on your feet a lot. Just walking from the parking lot into the building is going to be a chore because there'll be so many people there. You might have a long walk. Once you get inside, the floor is concrete. And then a lot of the vendors you talk to, you'll be talking to them standing up. Seating is very limited. So make sure your feet feel good. So I would suggest a flat with some nice support on the bottom. And if you must have some height, maybe a wedge, a short wedge versus a really tall one. 20, 20 more minutes. 20 more minutes. Okay? That's going to be about, for ages. No, about 20 more minutes, okay? Leave. Yes. 20 minutes. 20 more minutes, okay? I want to go home. We're going home, but I'm going to need you to cooperate. Tip number two, leave the children at home, get a babysitter. Even the most well-behaved child will probably get bored at the wedding show. There's very little to appeal to them. Yes, there's going to be sweets. You'll be able to sample some cakes, but those cake samples and other sweet treats and food, that's for the people who could potentially book that vendor, not to pacify whiny children. I have a whiny child, I know, and she's one who's always got to use the bathroom. So imagine you're in this big building, bathroom's at the front, you make it all the way to the back to talk to that vendor you've been dying to see, and then your child has to use the bathroom, and you've got to stop what you're doing, go to the bathroom. It's really just a hassle, or it can be a hassle. So if it is possible, get a babysitter, or at the very least, bring someone with you who can mind the child while you take care of business. Tip number three, save yourself from carpal tunnel syndrome with your wrist and get some pre-printed contact information labels. You can print them yourselves on your computer. Most vendors you talk to will want to get your contact information so that they can follow up, tell you about their deals, tell you about their services, tell you about how to sign a contract with them. And if you're constantly writing your name over and over and over again, you'll get exhausted. It's much easier to just have some labels that you can peel off and stick. Mm. Tip number four, come ready to talk with people. Vendors are there to engage with you. They put a lot of time and effort into making their booths look great so that they can woo you. They want to talk with you. So please make sure you engage with them. Talk with them about their services. Now, if you are not interested in a particular vendor or a particular service, it is perfectly all right and polite to say, no thank you, or I've already booked that service. As a vendor, that is a clear sign to back off. I'll be there at the wedding show with my husband. We're 360 Elite Entertainment, a DJ service. I hope you'll stop by and say hello, and I hope this helped get you prepared for attending a wedding show. Happy planning!